Hello, everybody. Welcome to the show. I'm International Master Sophika Gormishvili here for you today. What's up? Everything is going very, very dramatic in um, the recent tournament in World Cup. Uh, I've been here, I think, a week ago, and there was no big upsets, but in second or third round, actually third round, that was a huge blow for 27 plus players. My husband, Anish Kiri, unfortunately was knocked out, but yeah, it's really, really pity, but uh, it's good because I'll enjoy his company, <laughs> not so bad. Um, and yeah, uh, apart from Anish, Mamed Yarov was knocked out, a lot of, a lot of 27 plus players and yeah, we have Carlson left in um, men's group and also Grishuk from top players and uh, of course a lot of strong grandmasters. But first let's talk about what's happening in women's section. There was no big upset in uh, the last few rounds. Um, from my country, from Georgia, Lela Javashvili was um, knocked out and Bela Khotanashvili, which was a bit surprising for me uh, because they are very strong players. And yeah, they. Um, it, it was really pity for me uh, to see, but young players are doing very well in a uh, World Cup Cup, and here we see um, the very nice pairings into the graph already. Uh, from Georgia, Nana Zagnitsa is playing, but unfortunately for her today, she lost against uh, Shuvalova. Her first game, that was uh, very surprising. Other games were uh, pretty much solid with draws, but the first seed, Alexandra uh, Goryachkina, uh, she lost to Stefanova. If uh, yeah, she she lost. I'm not mistaken. Uh, and there we have Nino Basiashvili uh, against Gunina. Who do you guys root for? Uh, I've asked you before in uh, this show, and I've uh, I've seen a lot of you supporting Harika, uh, Lachno, and some Russian players. But I do want to know. Now, who is your favorite? We are getting closer to the finals and I'm really interested in your opinion. And let's go to men's section uh, right now. There we have still one game going on. It is Esipenko versus Daniel Dubov. And as far as I checked, Daniel was losing against Andrei Esipenko. He is very, very talented young player. I know him from this year's Vikanze. Uh, it was actually amazing, his performance in Vikanze. Um, he was very happy. He was third uh, in the tournament. Uh, he beat the world champion, Magnus Carlsen. So Andrei Esipenko is a very, very promising uh, grandmaster who I think will join the top very soon. What do you think, guys? I am able to read the chat, so please do write your um, opinion, share your opinion with me, and soon we will just uh, go through my video lessons uh, on kasparovchess.com and uh, we will solve the puzzles. Last time I think you remember that I was torturing myself from master's level, so I don't know what should happen today that I solve the master's level. So yeah, I see that uh, rooting for Vidit, let's go Vidit, Vidit has a lot of fans. I am also rooting for uh, Vidit. I'll, be, I'll share the secret. So I think he's uh, doing very well. He won his first round. So yeah, he's doing really, really good. But in these tournaments, I have to say that when you win the first round, it's never guaranteed. Of course, it's very nice that you're up a point, but somehow there is psychological um, 
a factor also that yeah you won and you know only draw only half a point is enough and then your play is is not as strong as it would be in case you drew the first game uh, but of course it's a nice option when you can draw and win the match um, rather than when you're in a must win situation however being in a must win situation is not so bad because then you have nothing to lose so you're going all in and you are motivated very much i've experienced it myself many times in world cup as I mentioned before, I've played it twice. Uh, first, I was knocked out by Lela Javakshvili, and uh, then I was knocked out by uh, Harika Trunavali. Um, against Lela, I lost first round, and then I won. So I was in a must-win situation, and the psychological factor that I'm going all in, and yeah, I have nothing to lose, helped me a lot while in the um, World Cup, which was in 2016, I was playing against um, Sara Sadat. Uh, I won the first round. I was really happy. Uh, I was uh, not the favor, favorite. And then I lost the second round. So we went into tie breaks. And that's what I'm talking about, that thinking that I needed only half a point to win the match actually just made me to play my worst game <laughs> of life. Um, no, probably not of life, but I did have um, chances in the game and uh, to actually um, have advantage. Then it was draw, but eventually I lost because of uh, nerves, I think. Okay, so I see Onion Leaves are, is saying all the young players are doing very well. That's true. Young players are doing perfect in uh, the World Cup and also a psychological factor because uh, they, they are just willing to play while other players are very experienced and yeah, they uh, know exactly it's how the match it is, how the match is, like two games, then tie breaks. It's really nerve wracking. But let's see what will happen. Let's see. And now let's switch to the puzzles <laughs> that I'm going to show you very soon. Uh, we are going to go to kasparovchess.com and I have very good news for you. If you become a premium member, you can have a 30% discount just by using my name. In discount code, you should write SOPCO and you will get 30% discount. It's an amazing website. I am completely in love with it. There are so many top grandmasters uh, doing work. They did a lot of video. The content is perfect. You can play on the platform, you can solve the puzzles and you can choose trainers. So now we will go right here, learn. Then we will have master lessons. And here is my husband. He did some opening stuff. Um, here we have trainers, so you can choose. I will choose myself and what I did. And then we have topics. We have themes. What do we want? Uh, opening sacrifices strategy. And then we have level, which is like beginner, casual, club, and it's getting stronger and stronger. So as you know, last time I really, really uh, tortured myself, tortured you as well, guys, because the uh, master puzzle was absolutely insanely difficult. Uh, so I would advise you today not to choose the master level, but if you insist, I will have no, uh, no choice. So let me ask you, chat, what do you want? Shall we go to casual club league tournament? Which level should we choose? And I see already no master. <laughs> 
we can do advanced or expert. I would I would try first, you know, to kind of warm up and uh, try tournament or league. What do you think? Oh, you guys are so strong. You always want advanced or expert. <laughs> okay, league, league, I see. So I'll just go for league. Okay, so we have the league and which topic? The topics I did in Paris, which was very nice, and the selection of uh, my work consists of seventh rank, defense, discovered attack, and we have double rooks. Actually, double rook was very, very difficult. Uh, first level, like the beginner and up to advanced, I think, it was pretty easy to find examples and create some. Uh, but afterwards, I was really struggling. So I don't know if it's uh, the topic that we should go for or we have to do something else. It is overloading, removing the guard, unpinning. We did a bit of unpinning last time as well as ampersand. So... <laughs> Whatever I say that it was difficult, you guys are trying to get me to do that. Let me check. Zwischenzug. Yeah, Zwischenzug is right there. So let's vote. Which topic do we want to, to do today? Okay, so I see the chat. You guys have to be active. I know that you are very, very strong. Chat is very strong. Without chat, I would not manage uh, manage to solve anything in my last uh, stream. It was really very difficult. But okay, now let's see. And there we go. <laughs> chat is stuck fish. <laughs> Okay, I see a lot of removing the guard. <laughs> Will Anish Giri stream anytime soon? I don't know about that. I can drag him into some stream, but I think first he has to come home. He's not home yet. He's coming tomorrow. Okay, so I see a lot of... Um, Zwischenzug. Let's let's do the Zwischenzug. And there we go. So here we are. Let's see the exercises and we'll go for puzzle one. This is puzzle one. Beautiful board, beautiful pieces. And it is white to move. Black's Knight Retreat is very ill-advised and is swiftly punished with another well-known idea. Do you know it? Okay, I think, I think I might have some idea, but let's wait for your suggestions. Knight d5. Knight d5 is the first move that Axolini is saying, and I think that's correct because the piece, this queen on b4 is hanging if we move the knight. So if we go knight d5, which I think is correct, then we have Zwischenzug, also known as intermediate move. So first we take the bishop with check, and then we take the queen. So that was very nice. Well done. Well done. Let's go to next exercise. And now, again, it's white's move. Black grabs a pawn based on the threat to white's back rank. How is this quickly refuted with a little intermezzo? Okay, so let's see what can be the intermezzo. Rook g1, rook g1, and of course, you guys are very strong. Rook g1 is the move because if we take the bishop right now on c4, then after rook b1, we are losing the um, rook on h1. So first we give check to get closer 
to the king and then we take it. And after rook b1, we just go king f2 and defend the rook. We have a piece. Very nice. Let's go to next one. I love the tempo we are going. Remember last stream? The masters, we started with masters and we were stuck on one exercise. I don't know for how long. We solved already two puzzles. We are doing great. Thank you very much for your help. And now let's see what's going on here. White to play, can you find the best move? Okay, so first of all, this one, the queen on d3 is hanging, but then the queen on g4 is hanging as well. What can we do? Knight of six, you are so fast. Knight of six check, that's an intermediate move because then our queen on g4 is defended. So now we take the queen and after knight takes g4, knight takes g4 and we have the knight. I think we will, we will level up a little bit because these exercises seems too easy for you. <laughs> okay, queen g3, searching for trouble, huh? Black to play. Can you find the best move? So what shall be the best move? I think this bishop on d4 is hanging. So hanging in sense that we can take the bishop and after queen takes, we have intermediate move. Rook takes d1 and then we take the queen. That's correct. And next exercise, Knight c5, what's the idea? If we take bishop takes c5, then rook takes c6, and we didn't win the piece. So what shall we try? Okay, I have one idea, rook c5. Yes, and you guys are correct. Rook takes c5. We are defending the knight on c6, and after bishop takes c5, we don't take the bishop, of course, but we give check first, intermediate move, and afterwards we just take the bishop on c5. That was it. We solved the five puzzles. It was very nice, very nice tempo. Now let's go back and see which topic and which level do we want to, uh, to solve. There we are. We are again waiting. <laughs> oh my god, I saw rook c5 on my own. Feeling proud. That's very cool. Yeah, chat is doing really well. Very, very well. And I cannot even... Um, I'm not in time to say the moves. You guys are already like, yeah, that's the solution. I love the spirit. Let's go on and check it. So. Which topic, en passant, please, en passant, once again, master level of en passant was very difficult. I guess legal one shouldn't be that, that difficult. So yeah, <laughs> chat is ready for en passant. Okay, where is en passant? Let's see. Um, huh. I lost it. Leak. Okay, there we are. <laughs> Let's go master level, really? No. Though we can do it on Empasson because we solved it last time. So I think we will remember it. All right, let me update the chat. Okay, let's go exercises and puzzle one. There we go. It is en passant, so Black's last move was f5. Black six a queen trade to reduce the pressure on his king. Can you see why white was not interested in swapping them off? Well, I think it's clear already. F5, there is only one way to have en passant here because if we delay it, then we are not, uh, 
we're not allowed anymore. So we just take the pawn, we sacrifice Her Majesty, and then we take the bishop. Afterwards, I think there should be beautiful mate. Or we just win the queen with bishop takes g7, king g8, bishop h6, and rook f8. What do you think? Mate in two. I don't see something. Did it mate in two? Oh, I can just I can just move the bishop on a1 h8 diagonal, right? Yeah. Bishop g7, king g8, and rook of eight, but I think not. It is just better after king g8 to move the bishop, let's say to e5, because then f file is controlled. This is check, so yeah. Queen g6 is the only move. There is no mate, but we are piece up. Okay, let's go to the next one. Oh, f5. I wish master level was so easy. Okay, so en passant, e takes f6. And then we can give check, I guess. <laughs> yep. Yeah. What do you think, guys? Shall we give check? Queen h7 check. King f8. Queen h8. King e7. What did we win? Mm, let's see. So here we need to take time. We have two bishops, that's good. But I think there should be something very direct here. <laughs> I see a check, I give a check, yep. Well, that's correct feeling, but I would add, I see a check. I stop first <laughs> and then give a check. <laughs> I don't know if this works like that. Rook takes d8 is another possibility, of course. Queen h7 looks so attractive. Queen h7, king of eight. We have to have follow up because if we give check king of eight and queen h8 then king e7 and we have nothing so i guess we should win the queen and yes the correct answer was written already in the chat it is queen h7 and rook f4 we're winning the queen so this one goes to Soragan. All right, let's go to the next one. Why to play can you find the best move? So we have double rooks here as well. <laughs> but the topic is en passant, so we shouldn't forget it. We should, the only chance is that we are forcing him to play e5. Why does he play e5? That's something I... I'm not sure. King f4. Again, Soragan is doing great today. Did Anish come to the home back? Um, no, he's not home yet. He comes tomorrow. So I'm definitely waiting for him. King of four. King of four, the, there is a huge threat. Rook h6, which is unavoidable. Now, if, after king of four, e5 is the only way to prolong the game. But after d takes e6 and passant, then we are winning. OK, this is checkmate. Very nice. 
<laughs> Hi, Sopiko, how are you? I'm very fine. Thank you very much. Happy to be streaming today and happy, um, happy that we can solve some puzzles and we're not getting stuck. So I love the league level, but of course, I'm completely sure that we will make it stronger. We have a lot of hours to come. Um, F5, E takes F5, F6. And then we can give check or not. Okay, this is interesting. So first move was pre-move because it's the topic of Ampossan. And then we have to think. So move first, think later, yeah? <laughs> bishop g6 check. Well, the problem with bishop g6 is that it's hanging. So knight takes g6, knight e6, but this variation should, of course, be continued because after knight e6, the knight on g6 is hanging as well as the queen on d8. So I think that's, that's the solution. So bishop g6, yeah, of course, knight takes g6. Knight e6 was the move. So after bishop g6, king d7. Can we just play? No, bishop f7, then uh, this one is hanging here. And now I think knight f7 would be nice to win the rook. Yep. Feels good, feels good. Really feels good. Okay, and the last one in M plus on is F4. Obviously, we have to take it. And after Rook F3, let's see how can we conclude this game. Well, after G4, first of all, the pawn on G3 is hanging. What do you think, guys? Shall we play G4 or there is something more? In this game. <laughs> Does Anish remember he has a YouTube? I mean, he has been ignoring it for a while. Shall I remind him? <laughs> I think I shall remind him. But I don't know, he's very busy lately. When he has time, I'm sure he will be back to streaming. Or maybe it's mama time in Geary family. Now I am back to streaming and he should babysit, right? <laughs> okay. Bishop g6, bishop h5 are two move candidates. Bishop g6, well, the problem is once again, the intermediate move, so rook f8. Rook takes f8 because it's check and then the queen can move. Same for bishop h5. Bishop h5 is actually a blunder because after rook takes f8, then the bishop on h5 is hanging. So I would say that bishop h5 is not a move unless there is something I'm missing. On the other hand, it is also possible to play bishop g6 because after rook takes a fate, rook takes a fate, this pawn on g3 is hanging. He has to move the queen and after queen g3, I would prefer to have my pawn on g5 rather than on g4. So yeah, I think bishop g6 is the right move. That's correct. Now we can take here and take the pawn. Awesome. Oh, we're done. We're done with Ampasson. Let's let's make make it stronger now and choose the topic. So we will exit this one. We will choose trainer once again, which is myself. And all right. Which one do we want? Shall we go tournament or advanced? Shall we right away skip tournament and right away go to the stronger one? Let's see. Stronger. Okay. 
Okay, guys, I give you a choice, advanced or expert. Okay, advanced, advanced. Yes, advanced it is. All right. So the topic now, we have discovered attack, attacking the castle king, defense, seventh rank attack, mm, double rooks, ampersand once again, overloading, double check. Double check is a very interesting topic as well. So let's vote. Where do we want to go? Where we want to try and solve the puzzles? Overloading and double check. Let's wait for one more. <laughs> mm, overloading and double check. They have same amount of votes. Okay, I see double check. Double check it is, let's go here. So we have exercises once again, and let's go to puzzle one. Black is desperately holding on and tries to initiate exchanges to ease his task. What killer blow based on a double check did he miss? Okay, so we know. When you know the topic, it's pretty easy, actually. Like, you know, it is ampersand, so you have to look for ampersand. You know, it's double check, you have to look for double check. So, yeah, when you're playing a game of chess, it's not like that. Nobody's coming to you and tells you, you know, this is the moment. Here you have a winning motive, a winning pattern, and it is this and this. Yeah, unfortunately it's like that, but if you're gonna solve a lot of puzzles, then you know all the patterns, then when you're playing, it will pop up into your mind. So definitely solving a lot of puzzles and playing online helps you to play a very uh, good game in chess, like classical chess. Okay, so till I'm here, just blah, 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 you guys already sold it. I see rook f8, which is double check, and I see rook takes f6. First of all, we have to cover rook takes f6 because it is check, but then the problem is that the queen on c4 is hanging. So if we take the rook, then queen takes c4, and yeah, that's probably not so good unless there is mate. So if we take, takes the queen on c4, rook g6, king h7, I don't see how do we proceed. Do you guys agree? Yeah. <laughs> Another candidate is rook f8, king f8 and queen g8 mate, but unfortunately it's not mate because um, the uh, queen is just hanging. But it's interesting to give rook of a check because then black should take the rook with the king and then the rook on f6 is pinned. So after rook of eight, king of eight, we nicely um, have a pin and then we can take the queen on c6. Do you guys agree? Rook of eight, no, not queen g8. Rook of eight, queen takes c6. Yes or no? I think that's correct. Let me see. Rook of eight and queen takes c6. Yeah. So actually, it was very nice puzzle because we had two motives here, which is like first double check and then. Uh, it is king takes a fate and pin, queen takes a six. Nice one. What if rook b takes a fate instead? There was no possibility of rook takes, rook b takes a fate because then it is double check. So when it's double check, 
King has to move for sure. All right, so let's go to puzzle number two. White's queen is badly misplaced, whilst black, black's is beautifully centralized. How did black utilize this difference to swiftly convert his advantage? Okay, we know that it has to be double check, but I don't see double one for now. <laughs> yeah. All right. Rook check. Of course, this is the first thing that comes to mind. Rook e1. Now, good thing is rook f1 is not possible because of queen takes f3 or rook f1. So after rook e1, which is definitely the first move that comes to mind, king g2. And then, yeah, then I don't know what to do. Because king can escape. Okay, this is not so easy anymore. Rook check, king g2. <laughs> where is double check? Yeah, where is double check? There is no double check. What shall we play? Sorry, something just dropped here. <laughs> um, all right. Very interesting. <laughs> Daddy broke something. Um, no, Danny, Danny is with his grandma and Michael. So he's not here. Okay, Rook, Rook E1, King G2, Queen D1 is another question, what happens on Queen D1? But what I don't like here is that we don't have big threat. Rook G1, then King H3. Um, so white can play simply Queen H6 and we will have big problem because Queen G7 is mate as well. So what shall we play? Rook E2 would be nice motive, but yeah, Rook E2, first of all, something like King G2, simple one, but after Rook E2, uh, once again, Queen H6 is a big problem. So we don't want that one. But I don't see how else we are going to use this. Rook e4, rook e4, rook g6. Now, rook e4 is just, it's just, you know, forcing, forcing white king, queen to go here. Okay, <laughs> rook takes f6, rook takes f6, queen takes f6, but that's, that's actually a great idea because rook e4, queen h6, and rook takes f6. And then rook takes f6, we will have double check, rook e1, and that's it, it's mate. Oh, it's brilliant, very nice. Rook e4, so the idea is that we have very nice pin here. It's not pin yet, but you know, like rook takes f6, and yeah, if rook takes f6, then rook e1. Queen d2 is met with queen takes d2 and rook takes f3. Yay! You guys are awesome! You guys are awesome! Applause, applause. It was very nice puzzle. I loved it. And very practical as well. Okay. Black to play, can you find the best move? 
black to play. So where can we have double check? <laughs> That's the first question that comes to mind. Where's the double check? But yeah, as we can see, it's not, it's not, it's advanced already the level. So it's not directly as in Ampassant that it was like on first move. Bishop takes e4, but unfortunately it's not possible because bishop is pinned. So bishop takes e4 is not possible. Rook takes e4 is an interesting option. However, we have to calculate. If rook takes e4, queen takes h2, then rook e1, it's double check and mate. So rook takes e4, rook takes e4, then queen takes d6. And we won not only the pawn, but the rook on e4 will be lost as well. So yeah, I think that's correct. Rook takes e4. Yeah, queen takes e4 was not possible because of queen b2 checkmate. And right now we'll just take the rook. Nice, nice. We're doing very good. Let's go to next exercise. And it is white to move. King d6 was last move. We have to find the best move. Now, first move that comes to my mind, I don't know what comes to yours, but it is rook d8, definitely. King c7 and d6. I think this should be calculated. King d8, d takes e7, double check. King takes e7 and rook d7 losing the bishop on b7. Do you agree with me? I have to also, you know, solve this puzzle before you to feel good about myself. <laughs> All right. Let's do it then. d6, d takes c7, double check, rook d7, and rook takes b7. Great. And next one. White to play, we have to find best move. Queen takes d4 was last move. Oh, this is very interesting because we have, first of all, a lot of options. We have an option to give check first here and then to take the queen. If we take the queen directly, then after knight takes d4, knight c7, then we will have a problem that Knight c2 is possibility also. So yeah, that's not nice. And we have also an annoying check here. But then maybe queen e5. Maybe not, because we can take it. But what is the problem with knight c7? Knight c7 King say goes to d8 and also very nice option is to take the queen and then short the long castle. So now we are threatening to take on d4 and knight c7, but then knight e6, bishop b5, bishop d7, I am searching for double check, bishop d7, king d7, knight b6, and knight a8. Sorry, this looks like a mess. The problem with knight c7 first, that is recommended in, chess, uh, in chat, is that king d8, and now if we take and then long castle, then the knight will be hanging. <laughs> yeah, the arrows was, it, it was too much. It was too much, but I do think that this is the solution. Yeah, you should always trust your gut feeling. Bishop b5 takes and knight. Knight a8. Yep. 
that's it. It was the fifth puzzle. Now let's exit and make it stronger. I feel good. <laughs> okay. We shall make it stronger, guys. Who knows, maybe we can do masters today. <laughs> Expert, let's go. Expert. Okay, now we should choose the topic. Overloading or <laughs> where is our prize for last puzzle? Applause once again, but nice, nice. Defense, oh my God, that would be disaster. Seriously? I think that's too much. Defense, defense and expert. Uh, you guys really like to give me some tough times, right? <laughs> yeah. When, when I'm like, oh, that's so difficult. I cannot imagine everybody is like, defense, 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 let's go defense. <laughs> <laughs> We're from Defense Department. Oh, yeah. When you say something tough, we go for it. Yeah, for you guys, nothing is tough, yeah? All right, let's do it. I don't know why I'm doing this to myself. I don't know why, but okay. Bishop H3, Black. Black's last move threatens both mate and the white queen. But a wonderful resource for white now decides the game. How did he proceed to win in style? All right. <laughs> Chat is full of GMs. That's true. Okay, so as it's written, queen g2 is a big threat and rook takes e8. Now we have to defend from both. One thing is that queen takes f7, king takes h, it's not takes, king h8. Mm, there's an idea. If we take queen f7 and king h8, if we don't have queen and f7, then knight f7 wins the queen. So we have to try to find some way to do it. For example, queen of seven, king h8. If we go queen g8, because if we take queen of eight, then rook takes of eight and knight of seven is no longer possible. So here, check. We go queen g8, king g8 and bishop c4, check. King h8 and knight of seven is correct. Yes, I see you guys also solved. <laughs> so easy, pathetic. <laughs> yeah, that was that was easy. I think after last stream and master levels, everything is so easy now. But we do have 100%, so we should keep it up. And that's solved. Let's go to next puzzle now. The pawn end game is hopeless, so Black needs to find counterplay to survive. How can he best activate his pieces to keep the balance? Hmm. Okay. Here we go. So, queen e8 or knight takes e8 is a threat. We have to keep the balance, protect the bishop and not lose it. Is there a way to give perpetual? And that's the question I see in chat as well. <laughs> I 
Queen B1, Queen C2, Queen C6 is a nice idea, but unfortunately it doesn't work because Queen E8 is the problem. Not Knight takes E8, but Queen E8. So first, of course, is Queen B1 check. Queen C2. I see very interesting solution in chat, which is Queen B1, King of two, Queen C2, is that King G3, H4, King H3, and King H7. But unfortunately, it's not it's not uh, forced, right? Because I see the point is queen e8, queen f5, g4, h, no, not h takes, g4, and uh, there is queen f3 mate. Hmm. But the thing is that it's not at all forced. Or is it? Because queen b1, king f2, queen c2, king g1 can also be played, yeah? Okay, let's try it. I think that's the right solution. Now, h4 is very interesting move because if we play h4, if king g4, then g2 pawn is hanging, and here king h7, this is brilliant. It's completely brilliant. <laughs> That's correct. Look, if you take here, then the queen is lost. And if you take with queen and queen f5, g4, and queen f3 is uh, mate. Queen e6, oh, then we can just take it or not. Hmm. But remember, it was keeping the balance in the position. So I think we have to take it. We take it. No! Oh, that was my fault. Oh, that was my fault. Oh, come on. Shall we just go bishop g6? And bishop a5, right? Yeah. Pity. No hundred percent anymore. No hundred. Ah, ah, let's blame it on mouse sleep. <laughs> okay. Puzzle number three. I like to play, can you find the best move? Hmm, position is complete mess. <laughs> what is hanging? Where is hanging? Uh, what's going on? So, this one is hanging. This one is hanging. This is pin. Life is good, huh? And in our position, only rook is hanging. So what shall we defend? Why not to attack? Why should we defend? Queen f2 was my first instinct. Well, queen f2 would work perfectly if white was uh, obliged to take an f2 with the rook because then it's rook d1, rook f1, rook f1. But unfortunately, queen takes f2, king takes f2, and I don't see the, I don't see the follow-up. All right. It's okay not to see the follow-up, but I'm interested what's going on it's very, very tricky move, knight b5. So the idea is that if we take with the queen, then the rook is hanging. If we take with the knight, then queen e8, and we're in trouble, it's mate. Um, if we take this one, then anyway, knight d6, and yeah. We are not in, uh, we're in trouble. Okay. Rook d2, queen f4, white queen f4, and rook f2. Hmm. 
Knight takes b5 is another option, but after knight takes b5, as we already mentioned, then queen e8 and queen f8 is the problem. What else, Jed? What else? Where shall we go? What shall we do? Did I just jump right away on puzzle three? I just jumped right away on puzzle three. I skipped puzzle two. We'll go back to that. Rook e6. Well, the problem with rook e6 is queen c7. And after queen c7, if we take here, then again, back rank problems. And if not, we're just pieced up. It's not even a piece, it's a rook. Okay. Let's, let's see. Would love to have another queen and give mate. <laughs> Anish, we need help. Yeah. <laughs> it's like like in the game, like uh, a call to a friend, right? Shall we? Shall we just? Shall we just? really ask for the help or not are we stronger than anish are we stronger than anish guys or shall i just take the picture and send him and see <laughs> shall we do it let's vote do we need anish or we don't need anish Do we? Do we actually? We are we are stronger. Come on, we are so many. If we add our rating together, we're way stronger than him. Come on, guys, come on. Let's see. We shouldn't we shouldn't give up so easily. <laughs> Negative rating. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, that really makes me to think to ask for a help. <laughs> World against me. That's correct. No, but I want. I want to try first. I want to try first, and when we're desperate, we can. We can call him. Hmm. <laughs> Miss tactics, Mr. Openings. <laughs> That's correct. Okay. Okay. Queen of two? Really? Rook? d2, why queen of four? This is the only thing I don't understand. Okay, rook d2, we have the threat of rook queen takes up two. That's correct. But why queen of four? And rook d2, even if queen of four, then Queen F2, but Queen F2. Oh God. One Queen F4, Queen F2, but then Queen F2, Queen F2. And what's going on? 
Oh, rook f2, rook takes f2, and knight b5. Oh, that's correct. You see? We don't need an issue. We are stronger than him. Rook d2, queen f4. Queen f2. Okay, this is clear. Rook f2, rook d1, rook f1, rook f1, queen f1, bishop f1. Ninety-seven. Huh. Let's do it. Yes, queen of four. Now let's take it here. Take, take this one, and yeah, he has to take knight c seven and bishop d three. Slightly better end game. <laughs> okay. Now, next exercise. Yay, that's very nice. I am proud of you, Chad. I'm proud of you. We did not use help and it makes me really happy. But I promised you to jump on puzzle two. So this is, no, we solved this one. This one we solved, okay. Um, so here we go. Black to play, can you find the best move? Hmm. We're missing a rook, right? So we're exchanged down. Then what shall we aim for? What can be the idea? Knight c5. Of course, knight c5 is the first move that comes to mind. But it's somehow way too easy, you, you know? Like if you just go knight c five, we need follow-up. This is the case when we need follow-up because I slightly don't like knight c5 as we allow rook b8 to check. I don't know if it's necessary for white or not, but knight c5, rook b8, yeah, I don't want to give this option to uh, white. What else can we play though? But definitely we have to take a look at knight c5. Now the problem for white is that if queen e3, queen d1 is there. Um, rook b8, king h7, queen anyway has to move. Let's say queen d2. But then knight e4. It's not so bad. Yeah, knight c5 is really tempting. Okay, let's go for it. Yeah, that's correct. That's correct. Very nice. Sometimes we should just make simple moves, right? Now here will be the, the point maybe, because our knight is on e4. Do we have something else? Then knight c5 back. Or is it just is it just a draw? Knight c5 again? Yeah, I guess so. Check, go, and knight c4 back. Hey! <laughs> Solved it. Nice! Yeah, it was repetition because remember the topic is defense. Okay, and the last puzzle here, rook h7. Wow, what's going on? What's going on? Too many pieces are hanging, too many options. Rook h7, why cannot I take on e3? That's my first question. Maybe because after f takes e3, there is queen h2, and then rook h7, queen h7, rook g7, queen h7. Um, 
What else? Yeah, everything is hanging. Hmm. What if we, what if we go, what if we jump with our knight? Knight of six, for example. But then queen d8, rook takes d8, rook takes d8, bishop of eight, this looks horrible. Rook of seven. That's it. Ciao. No. Knight of six, I don't think is correct solution. F takes e3 would be very nice, but then queen h2 and rook h8, queen h7 is disaster. I don't know how to defend it. Knight of six I have there though. And after knight f6, Hmm. Hmm. So F takes E3. There should be something with white because then then F takes E3 is just uh, is just the move, yeah. Queen H2, Knight F6. Yeah, it's very, very interesting. Oh, do you know what might be the problem? F takes e3, queen h2, knight of six, and rook h1. And then rook h8 is unavoidable. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. Knight of six and rook h1. I don't see how to how to defend, unfortunately. Triple, triple down H file and game over. Okay. Okay. We need something else. Hey Sophico, congrats to you and Anish on the baby. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. That's genius. Rook F1 idea, right? Rook F1 idea? Huh? Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, 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 oh. Let me just do it because that's definitely, definitely the thing. Knight h5, when you think that that's it, you have rook f1. Wow. It's very cool. I think you're just king g8. No. <laughs> I make one move myself and it's incorrect, of course. I always have to look at chest. Well, okay, knight of six is possible. I'll go knight of six then. Yeah? Yeah. Mm. Well, a lot of things can go there, can uh, happen here. I can even take on g6. What's the problem with that? Or play rook h8. I like rook h8. Queen d4 is an option also. What do you think? Queen d4? Rook h8? I think rook h8. Yep! Solved! Nice! So this was the fifth puzzle 
of advanced. I think we are doing really well. We're doing really nice. So now I'll give you a choice. Let's do one more topic and solve the puzzles. Or shall I play against you guys? You have to go to kasparovchess.com and challenge me. What shall we do? One more puzzle. Play, okay, one, 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 one. Could you explain the puzzle a bit slowly? Yeah, of course. So the thing was that after rook h7, if we played knight of six, then queen d8 was the problem. So of course, obviously, we want to take the bishop on e3. We took, oh, no, we took here. And now queen h2. Now the threat is rook h8, bishop takes h8, and queen h7 mate. So knight of six defends the h7 square. But now after rook h1, whites are tripled on h file. And again, the problem is rook h8, bishop h8, and now queen h8 mate. So there is no way to survive this if we don't close the h file. That is why we play knight h5. And if White takes on h5, queen h5, then rook f8, check. And actually, it is white who is mated, rook f1 and queen f1. Same happens with uh, rook h5 or g takes h5. That is why rook g7 was played. Now, be careful not to take with the knight because it's queen h8 mate. And that is why king g7. Queen e5 check, knight f6, g5, and we simply go rook h8. We have an exchange, there is no danger to the king. g takes f6 is met with e takes f6. Our bond structure is perfect, and black is completely winning. Okay, so I have here. Um, I have here. A choice to make, I see already challenges coming in. And it was 1-1, one, one. play or one more puzzle. I'll wait for the first comment and let it play. Okay, then we play, then we play and we accept the challenges. Let's go. Here we are. I'm with white pieces. Three minutes, let's go e4. I like to be flexible. Play e4, d4, knight of three. Sometimes it means that you're a top player, you know everything. Sometimes it means that you know nothing and you're just playing. That's the case for me. <laughs> Okay, so let's castle. I don't know what what it what is the opening, but I do know that I like to grab the center. I love to develop the pieces, and and yeah, castle is important. How much do you enjoy playing bullet? Well, I'll be honest with you, first, like two, three years ago, I completely hated it. I thought, yeah, it's just a waste of time. There is no chess. It's just, you know, like mouse skills and it's horrible. But after having kids, <laughs> I appreciate bullets. It's a one minute game in case your child cries you you're just done in a minute <laughs> so yeah it's a great way i like it okay so do i give up this knight and move my bishop or take it i think i would take the bishop because i like two bishops it is intermediate move so i don't move my bishop first but i take it and now let's play h3 oh okay 
no, I thought I thought there was something wrong with it. Okay, let's go first. This one, I think I'm in I'm in trouble because f4 is not nice move. Once he goes a4 is uh, now a4 and knight e4 is a uh, big, big problem for me. So what shall I do? That's the question. What shall I do? Hmm. Not to lose the pawn, I will go f5, though strategically it is an awful move, completely awful move. And now I'll go a3. So instead of f4, I had to play a3 right away. Now it's just horrible. Why did I do that? I have less time. Okay, let's go. Let's see, let's see. Still some hopes. I don't like to be on this diagonal, so I'll just move my bishop. I'll put the rook here. It's not as bad as it looks. I'll move the rook to have protected the e4 pawn, then I'll go bishop h2. Now it's even nicer to go bishop h2. Then, then I'll go queen f2. Yeah, I like queen f2. g4, queen g2, g5 somewhere. Attacking. Pawn was hanging on b5. No. Was it? Was it? Yeah, he's very passive, I have to say. It's. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is hanging. I'll just take it. And I'll say thank you. to be fast. I'll take this one as well. I'm not ashamed. Whatever you give me, I'll just take it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Let's see other challenges. We'll come in. There we go. Okay. Now I'm with black pieces. <laughs> How would you describe your chess style? Is it fashionable like you? <laughs> well, first of all, thanks for the compliment. <laughs> well, I don't know. What I know is that I love dynamic positions. I love to be aggressive because I am not aggressive in life. So at least in chess, I have to be aggressive. You have to, you know, like use this in some way, either in chess or in life. <laughs> but yeah, um, jokes aside, I think that um, my best I can do when it's kind of uh, a messy position, but it's clear what you need to do. Like, like, you know, it's, it's clear. <laughs> and yeah, mm, what else? Here, for example, in this position, I think black is already doing pretty good because uh, d6 pawn is normally uh, a weakness. First, I'll take this. I can even take it. Let's be greedy or not. Let's be greedy. Let's be greedy and take the pawn. Yeah, already it's very good position for black. Okay, extra pawn is extra pawn. But yeah, Anish is not aggressive in chess, then Anish is more aggressive than you in normal life. <laughs> um, well, <laughs> do what 
Do more of what makes you happy. That's cool. That's true. Um, well, not necessarily what I said is truth, but Anish, I think he is pretty aggressive in chess. If a chance is given, all these two players are very aggressive. It doesn't mean that if you're seeing like a lot of theoretical games or a lot of draws or a lot of uh, calm positions, it definitely does not mean that uh, you're not aggressive. Just uh, on top level, it is much harder to achieve something that would be achieved on, for example, my level or uh, any, any other level. Um, because, yeah, because of the openings, because I, they are ready for already 20, 30 moves. Uh, they know by heart what position they are aiming for. They all look at computers. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely not to think that you can, you know, say that this player is aggressive, that player is aggressive. Nowadays, it is very, very... Um, difficult to be aggressive if you're playing on top level because everybody is um, analyzing things on computer and being aggressive doesn't mean that you have to do something that doesn't make sense if you do something that doesn't make sense you will be punished yeah okay um let's go f6 Do you prefer bishops or knights? I personally prefer knights. Of course, it depends on the positions, but personally, I love knights because it can go from white square to black one and you can reroute it. And yeah, I love that it's jumping and you see like from the very beginning where you want your knight to be while when you're when you have bishops, you have only diagonals. So yes, you have regrouping from one side to another, but not all over the board. <laughs> Fisher loves knights as well. Yep. Now this knight, for example, in c5 is a great piece because it doesn't have anybody to kick him out. So there is no B pawn. White is really missing B pawn. And now I'm going to go to C3. Okay. I mean, if Anish has two great ways to play, he generally prefers safer one. Um, I think that's a bit exaggerated thing. Um, I think it very much depends on the consequence you're playing. Uh, you're playing because if you're if you're low on time and yeah, it, it, everybody prefers safer position, not to blunder anything than a mess. Um, and if let's say um, you have a lot of time, it's just maybe might be a thing that yeah, you don't see it you don't see another great way. It's easy, of course, to talk when you're seeing computer analysis and computer moves, but in life, it's not so easy, right? You're, you're just over the board, a lot of things happened, and you're playing uh, your best. Also, it depends what was your mood and what was... Um, what was uh, the whole mindset you wanted to reach this type of position or that type of position. So I don't think it's that easy and I would not label players that, yeah, you know, this one is aggressive, this one is not. Yeah, some, some risk more, some less, but on top level, it's very difficult. So. I think if you see in Asia's games when he was young, he had very, very um, aggressive openings, aggressive style. But uh, once he kind of, say, grew up and entered 
top level, then it's difficult to keep that style. It, you have to be more universal. So I think that all top layers are very universal. Um, and now the question is, shall I take the pawn or not? I think rook end game looks very nice, but I love knights. But if I don't take it, then maybe some jumps would be not nice. Okay, let's do like this. Let's trade it this way. When we will see Miss Tactics and Miss Strategy again. Miss you and Donna, thank you so much. Yeah, that is true. I, I of course, miss her a lot as well. And um, I don't know when I'm going to see her. That's... That's so pity with this pandemic. Yeah, we cannot see each other. But I really hope that everything will be fine with the vaccination and with everything. And we'll be able to meet. So this should be winning because I have an extra pawn. And it should be winning. First, I'll go here. And then I can just go like this, I think. Now I'll go B4. Yeah. Six funk. Chess is hard, that is true. Anish did two crazy queen sex with Wesley and Magnus in CCT. It was amazing to watch. Yeah. He had good tournaments, he had good ear chess wise. Now, now let's queen. I learned the rules of chess in 2014 and Sophie Go and Anna's videos are the first chess tutors that I've watched. That's so awesome. That's really great to hear. I'm very happy to hear that I really loved and enjoyed taking and recording videos with uh, her. It's it, it was, we had a, amazing times. It was very nice. Okay, so now we should, we shall demonstrate how to checkmate your opponent. <laughs> you just, you just put him in the corner. So I will go queen d6. I think you guys all know how to do this. Queen c7 would be horrible here, but queen d7 and then king c6 and queen b7 would just do the job. <laughs> okay, now, woo a lot of changes, challenges. Let's see. There we go. E4 was my lucky first move. So let's... Uh, am I playing against Nidor? Didn't want that. Didn't want that. I played this one in Vikensay when I played Group B 2017, if I'm not mistaken. Against Lu Shengli. I had amazing starts at the tournament. I was winning that one, but I drew. And then, you know, it went horrible. I lost so many games there, but I did not expect anything 
extraordinary. I just thought that, yeah, I'm going to play and it would be nice for a World Cup. It would be nice, um, uh, nice to warm up. And I, it was correct. It was, I had very, very good uh, World Cup. <laughs> I was happy when you drew Lu at the beginning. <laughs> oh, you remember that? That was really unfortunate. That, yeah, thank you very much. Wow, that's amazing. Sometimes I am so surprised because Annie, she's telling me like, oh, you played this like five, 10 years ago. And he exactly tells me against who, with uh, what position and so on. And I'm like, how do you remember my games? How? <laughs> when I myself don't remember them, it's, uh, I'm like, wow, that's really very cool. Mm, I'll take this one. I'll take this one. I'll go here not to lose this one. Oh, I'm pretty low on time, so I have to be a bit careful. Okay. Now. Yeah, it's not that great position. It's actually very bad for me, I think. Mm, not happy, not happy, definitely not happy. Okay, like this we will go. We will regroup. Yeah. If he is allowed to do this, then I'm not happy. Oh, my rook is hanging. <laughs> my rook is hanging. really badly. So takes, okay, I shouldn't take it, that's for sure. I have to go like this, takes, takes. Oh, he didn't take the pawn. That's surprising. He didn't take the pawn on b2. I'm in big trouble. I think I'm in big trouble. Okay, let's go like this. I'll take it. Is it winning pawn and game? Seems like, okay. I wanted king d3, but it didn't make. Why I'm taking this? Oh, okay. Let's see, let's see. Is it too bad? Am I in time? I'm not in time. Not in time. Damn it. <laughs> well, well done to our premium member. I'm going to resign this. Um, yep. Well done. Well done. Flag him. <laughs> I'm into flaggings, but no. This was too much. Yeah. See what premium membership does? on kasparvchess.com. If you're not a premium member, make sure you upgrade because you will have 30% discount if you write the code SOPICO. There we are again. Oh, okay. Let's, <laughs> let's play Queen's Indian with tempo. Yep. Can we play? We can definitely play. Uh, let's 
Let's castle. How do you guys feel when you're playing something reversed? I'm always interested. Are you confused? Or is it something like, yeah, it's normal. It is weird, right? Yep. Something is weird. You're trying to remember what was there, but I have tempo. Shouldn't I use that? <laughs> Nervous about move order. Yeah, that's correct. Okay. I don't know where I'm going, what I'm doing. But I'm playing higher rated player than me. <laughs> so because so Sam Shankland complimented your Queen's Gambit accepted course as the one of the best ones. Oh, I didn't know that. Thank you very much. That's awesome. Thank you. It was a lot of work. It was really, really a lot of work. <laughs> and I do think that with the help of Anisha, of course, um, it's really very nice series. And it, it gives some kind of new look at Queen's Gambit Accepted because, you know, it's very complicated and there are a lot of lines, but uh, there is no there's no guarantee that your opponent knows everything. And even if she knows or he knows, yeah, it doesn't touch you anything. Okay, let's go back. You didn't know? No, I didn't know. <laughs> he said it a few times because I'm studying his course. Wow, very nice. Very nice to hear that. <laughs> I didn't know about Slav, but I remember her saying she liked Nidorf. If it's about me, I'm a huge fan of Nidorf. A really, really big fan. And yeah, let's go like this. I don't want to give up my bishop. Um, all right. We'll go d4. This guy should be weak. Who is your all-time favorite chess player except Anish? Of course, Gary Kasparov. I mean, I, I'm a huge fan. I'm a huge, huge fan of Gary's games. And I actually started playing Nidorf because of him. Mm. Yeah. Let's pin. Have to be a tiny bit quicker. <laughs> if you like neither there's a chessable course you might like a <laughs> wife discount I'll, I'll wait for the discount i think it's not on discount yet so i'll wait for a sale <laughs> good one good one I'm desperately trying to do something with this knight, either with d4 or with a4. I think I succeeded as I won. Oh, I thought I won the pawn. Did I? I have four. Sneaky. So sneaky. Okay. A lot of things is going on here, but not queen d6. Queen d6 was a mistake. I think so. No? 92! Oh god, what did I do? 
uh, he didn't see. Oh, God. I was just winning a piece with this one. Shame, shame on me, shame on me. Okay. Oh, 17 minutes, seven seconds. Double check. <laughs> Double check. <laughs> you see? Double check. Yay! All right. Let's do one more. <laughs> Amazing that Anish got to play Gary recently. Yeah, it, it, it was really, really sad to see Gary um, performing like that in the bleeds. But yeah, when, when you're not active, then it's of course uh, difficult. But I love his spirit. I love that he's still, you know, he has the spirit of uh, that Gary we know. What is that opening? I don't know. Did we did we transpose into some kind of dragon? I, I should check another course of uh, dragon. Or maybe you guys can help me because on that one, I definitely don't have a discount. So will my husband be proud of me or not? That's the main question. What do you guys think? <laughs> At four. At four, okay. I, I, I don't understand what he's doing. Let's go nine C5. Tickle this one a bit. I think now G3 is only move. And then maybe E5 or it's too aggressive. I like it because F takes E5, then Bishop takes E5. We're all proud of you. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> Chat is proud of you. <laughs> Anish not smurfing in chat. I don't know. Maybe, maybe he's just just watching, you know. Like I'm watching you, keeping an eye on me. Bishop F four. Mm hmm. Yeah, whose king is stronger? I think mine. Let's see. Rook d1. It's the point of rook d1. I'll just cast. Can I challenge Sophie? You can, of course. You should be a member of kasparovchess.com and then you can challenge me. My nickname there is just Sophie, username, not nickname. <laughs> Deep down, we all know Queen's Gambit Accepted is the best. Oh, thank you very much. I have such feedback. I'm totally happy today. I I think today's stream goes really well. We started with a lot of um, good solutions, correct puzzles. What shall I play? What shall I play? So, ooh, oops, bishop f4, queen f4, f5. Totally crazy. But Okay, um, let's just, just go this. Yeah, 
Sapka with Dutch flag is my username. That's correct. Oh, I'll take with this one. Can I ask you a chess related question, Sapka? Of course. Anything, anything you want to know. I like your old Triangle Slav series. Thank you very much. There is Sopico with Georgian flag. Um, I'm with Dutch flag. I'll take this one. Knight E2 should be played. But now, I'll take this. Hmm. Mate, no? Yep. I'll soon play the Bielches Festival under 2000 Fide. What's the best way to prepare for a passer like me? I'm 1750 Fide and 22 plus on chess.com. Well, um, first of all, good luck. That's very nice. You're going to play a tournament. So there is motivation to kind of work a bit on chess. I would say that my go-to was just to solve a lot of puzzles and uh, and play. Like, I would say that I would keep a routine when I was playing actively. I would keep a routine of solving, say, 20, 50 puzzles, if it's very easy, of course. But nowadays, it's very easy because uh, in my times, I would have a book and it would be, you know, half correct, half not. And um, then the thing is that if you if you have now website platforms, there are so many possibilities that you can solve puzzles and uh, you can go to kasparovchess.com and you can solve there a lot of puzzles and play against um, against against some players like Blitz games or I would recommend to play rapid games like 15 minute games and then for sure to analyze them so when you kind of finish your game you should not skip the analyzing part I think if you do that you would improve very much and it would give you also confidence when you're solving puzzles and when you're analyzing. So I would definitely recommend you to solve some puzzles, play online, but not for fun, but to actually analyze your games. Okay, let's go and play one more game. Anish on streams said, just get better, maybe. Um, yeah. <laughs> also possible. Oh, French. I think my opponents, they are just equipped with, uh, with some courses here. <laughs> Hopefully we can see Sopico representing Dutch flag in competitive chess again and Anish can change the diapers. This time I am actually dreaming about that. <laughs> but so far it's not possible. Um, okay. I don't know if I am... I am playing it the right way. Let's just try. Check, check. I don't think bishop f3 was a good move because now after queen f3, it has, th this one has problem just because of this, because I can take it and queen b4 is the only move now. Queen b4, bishop b4, and probably knight c3. Knight d2, c3 I don't like, so knight. Um, c3 and then it's difficult to protect the pawn in c4 <laughs> oh baby crying that that's correct uh, he when he's hungry he's like yeah mama oh what i'm doing i should just take the rook Mm -hmm. 
he has to be patient. <laughs> he has to be patient. But yeah, overall, Michael is a very good boy. I think you don't have such impression from streams because you always hear him crying, but he really doesn't cry that much. <laughs> okay, don't, don't I have just uh, a rook? Is Anish a good football player? Does Anish still play tennis sometimes? Yeah, I think he is good at everything, but he is best in chess. Is Danny a good older brother? He's grown up so much now. Yeah, he is, he is actually an amazing brother. I am very happy, really very happy, because there tends to be, you know, like, part of jealousy or something when new member is coming, but I don't see that at all. And he loves him so much. He's so excited. He takes books and he reads stories and he's like, Michael, I'm going to school, but you don't worry, I'll be back soon. So it's really sweet and very, very lovely. I think that he, he's, he is now an amazing big brother but when he grows up, he will be an amazing big brother as well. Okay, let's first threat some checkmate. Check and mate. Mm -hmm. New best friends. Yeah, that's that's correct. He's really happy. And he was always asking, Mommy, when Michael will be born? When Michael? When are you going to doctor? When are you going to doctor? <laughs> so he was very excited. Awesome. That's perfect. And now, Michael is not crying yet so i'll play one more game that's i'll play one more game unfortunately this one will be my last game because yeah i think uh he needs mommy <laughs> how old is danny danny will be five in october so he's a big boy Thank you for the game, Sopico. My pleasure. Thank you very much for challenging me. This challenge. Mm, nope. We don't have. Okay, one more challenge I'll accept. Will you stream more often? Really love your streams. Thank you. Thank you very much. That means a lot to me. And um, can I challenge you? Yeah, I'll, I'll stream more. I'll definitely be here on Twitch Chess, um, Kaspar of Chess. Um, so, yeah, wait for my streams. Oh, I'm with the white pieces. Will you ever play at the Dutch Championship or play for the Dutch team in an Olympiad or something? Hoping for that, being a Dutch person. <laughs> I definitely uh, hope so. One day, I don't know how possible will it be this year with two kids, but um, yeah, the idea um, to change federation was to represent Holland uh, in uh, team events or individual events. So I will be very, very happy to take part. Please tell Anish to start streaming again. <laughs> I will. But I'll let him to rest a bit tomorrow. <laughs> Danny loves chess or not? He loves chess. He He's a bit like, you know, like, I know how to play already. So he is not really into, like, explaining things and learning things he's into playing and we're trying this with him that we just 
<laughs> which I think is fine because he's learning how the pieces move just by playing. Um, and that's amazing actually, because uh, yeah, no one ever explained him how the knight moves and he knows it best. <laughs> so yeah. What, what I love about him is also that he's, <laughs> he's telling Anish like, so Papa, you're going on tournament now. Um, so do you know how to play? You have to go pawn first, then the knight from uh, the left side, then the knight from the right side, then the bishop out, then you castle. <laughs> he's like explaining, but I think that's really amazing because uh, he's imagining, uh, um, imagining board. So he is telling him blindfold. And I'm like, oh, wow, daddy, how can you do that? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I will go A6 here. Danny, youngest GM incoming. I don't know. I really don't know. I, to be honest, I don't think so because uh, there are so few families that kind of, you know, kids follow the parents' steps. So if he's interested, that that would be great. That would be amazing. And yeah, you know, um, he would be very lucky because um, he would have uh, help from us on different levels. So when you start, I think I can help him more uh, uh, in the beginning rather than um, a niche. In sense that he doesn't need a niche yet, <laughs> but uh, if he if he achieves something, then of course to have such um, support is amazing. So if he's interested, um, then we'll do everything. But if not, yeah, we're not going to enforce it. <laughs> is Danny the reason behind the niche is opening? Bro, sometimes. <laughs> Yeah. And Danny even knows he's rolling checkmate. Yeah, he does. He he does though the letter and uh, Anish explained him the uh, letter and the um yeah, so now he's doing it with Queen and a rook as well. So okay. This is comfortable position for me already, I think. Does Anish let him win Sopico? <laughs> um, yeah, of course he does. I do it all the time. And I don't know if it's uh, a thing to do <laughs> or not, but I was joking that probably he thinks that, you know, I'm some kind of, uh, I don't know, that I cannot play chess or something because he's like, oh, I won, I won. And yeah, um, at some point I beat him and he was like, yeah, but how can you beat me? I'm beating Papa as well. And I'm like, I'm chess player as well, you know? <laughs> Because he sees me in very different, um, uh, in very different ways. So we are playing a lot of games uh, against each other, and um, mostly I led him to win. In some games, he is really, really stronger. So um, I cannot do do anything. Let's go this way. Yeah, uh, in some games like, he's very lucky, so he really beats me. Uh, but I do think it's pretty important for self-confidence to let, let your child, child win, uh, but not always, of course, but um, yeah, most of the times. <laughs> okay, I think I have slight advantage because of the knight here, but my knight is not doing anything special as well, so let me just regroup it. <laughs> oh my god, he thinks you're a noob. That, that, that's exactly what Anish told me. 
<laughs> he thinks I'm a noob. Definitely. I had to show him my diplomas and trophies and everything to, you know, <laughs> reassure him that I'm just player. I was using my title. I was saying that, you know, I won the world championship under 16. Your daddy doesn't have that title yet. <laughs> Uh, so I have my own tricks. <laughs> I used to beat my dad, but it turned out he didn't know chess at all. <laughs> well, well, I'll take that one. Then I'll take this one. And I'll go back. <laughs> Anish doesn't have the title yet. Can he still win under 16 championship? No, he cannot. He cannot anymore. He will never have that title anymore. <laughs> I'm very happy about that. Okay, queen b8. I want knight f5 and knight e3. Oh, discovered check. I can have discovered check. Mm, do I need it? Not sure, not sure. Where to regroup? Okay, I can regroup this way, actually. Um, yeah, can't go there. All right. I don't want any unnecessary checks. I should go back, right? Now I would huh I would play like this. Yeah, I'm I'm misplaying it a bit. Not a bit, quite much. Have to be fast. Six. Have to be really fast. Thirty eight seconds. Okay, I think I can take this one. I don't know how smart it was, but yeah, now these knights are hanging. I should win one of them. Mm, I'll take this. Now this one is... Am I getting flagged? No. I don't think so. Am I? Whoa. Okay, check, check. And push the pawn. Push the pawn. Now this should be winning. 16 seconds, isn't it? Is it enough? 16 seconds. Okay. Oh, I should have. Okay. Free move, free move. Everything and free move. I won. 
<laughs> Jeez. Yeah, that was close. That was close. <laughs> wow, that was that was really close. Well, very nice game to end the stream. <laughs> Thank you very much, guys. I had a lot of fun and it was very, very helpful to solve the puzzles with you. I'm proud of chat today. We did great. And I'll be back soon um, and on Twitch to stream for gasparovchess.com and make sure you upgrade because you will have 30% discount if you use the discount code SOPICAL. Thank you very much. Have a good evening. I'm back to mom life, back to my kids. Enjoy your day. Bye-bye. I'm international master Sofika Goramishvili. Anish Giri. Elizabeth Pitts. Lavan Aronian. Frank Hauska. Maxime Vachelagrave. To improve as a chess player, you need to get used to recognizing patterns. This was uh, one of those uh, lessons you get <laughs> for life.